Hey you guys, so I have been wanting to make this video for quite a while and I actually did make this video I think like three or four years ago. Um, I don't even think it's up on this channel anymore, but I thought it was a good time to redo it because I have been getting questions about creatine every time I post about it pretty much on Instagram and you guys are wondering if it's something that you should be taking, if it's safe, is it a steroid? All right, so right off the bat, it's not a steroid. And I'm going to say this probably 20 times throughout this video because it's just something that is so, it's just a, a big myth about creatine essentially that people, especially women, think it's the steroid that's going to like jack them up and make them bulky and you're going to immediately like gain all this weight the second that you take it. And that can't be farther from the truth. I think it's first important to define creatine and let you guys know what exactly it is and what it does in your body. And I'm going to keep this really simple. It's not going in depth at all. If you do want the more in depth version or want to read more research about it, use examine.com. They're a great resource and website on any supplement, but they do have quite a bit of linked studies and information about creatine specifically because creatine is one of the most researched supplements out there. So what is it? Basically creatine is produced in your body primarily in the liver from amino acids. Creatine helps with your exercise performance by rapidly producing energy in intense activity. So Basically, it works by giving you more energy to lift better or lift heavier or just perform at a more optimal level during your training. So the benefits of creatine is that it increases your strength and power output and it can also increase your lean body mass over time. So I'm saying over time because a lot of people start taking it and like three days later they're like, okay, I don't feel anything or I don't see any differences. Well, you're not going to. And I think that's where a lot of the misconception lies too is it's not this like instant magical powder or pill that you're taking. It's going to produce effects over time as you are challenging yourself in the gym following a progressive overload based program and making sure that you are using it optimally by resistance training and lifting and pushing yourself as heavy as you can, or not as heavy as you can, but as intensely as you can and making progress over time. So over the course of months or years, yes, it's going to impact you greatly, um, but it's not something that you're going to see like in the next three days if you start taking it. So I think that's something a lot of people don't really understand at first and they're like, oh, well, it didn't really do anything for me. I took it for like a week or two and I'm just gonna stop. So give it time, just like anything else. This is not a magical pill or supplement. They don't exist. Next, a lot of people are asking who should take it. Is it safe for women to take? Can I take it while I'm pregnant or breastfeeding? And I'm going to break all of that down. Right off the bat, as a general um, guideline, it is safe for any person to take. But if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, please consult with your doctor first. Creatine is something that is found in meat and fish and various foods, so I wouldn't see an issue with taking it. But as always, with anything supplement-wise, don't risk it. Obviously, run it by your doctor, um, whether you are pregnant or breastfeeding or whatever. So that's my spiel on that. This is not advice I'm not giving you medical advice. This is my disclaimer right here to first check with your doctor if you're at all cautious about taking creatine or any supplement. I feel like because it's listed as a performance enhancer, um, that's where it kind of gets this bad reputation about being a steroid or being this like crazy supplement that makes you bulky and huge and turn into the Incredible Hulk or something. <laughs> But it's really not like that and I think a lot of people are scared of it because of it being called a performance enhancing supplement. But like I just said, it's made in our bodies. Um, it's not something that you should be fearful of. And if your main goals are to either gain strength or muscle mass, I highly recommend taking it just because it is one of the most researched supplements out there. So I mean, we're talking up there with protein. like. It's just one of those things that if you have goals of gaining strength and you lift regularly, I recommend taking it. Let's talk side effects a little bit. There generally aren't that many side effects to taking creatine. Um, you may experience some water retention or bloating and that is completely normal. Basically, the way that creatine works is it pulls water into the cell. So you're going to see an increase on the scale, maybe. This depends on the individual. I don't want this to be something that keeps you from taking it because 
You have to remember too that weight gain on the scale is not equivalent to fat gain. So it's literally just water weight that you may see increase in a couple of pounds. So don't let that stop you from taking it because I think the benefits outweigh that one small, um, I don't even want to call it a negative factor because it really isn't negative, it's just water weight. So don't be fearful of that. That ties into don't be fearful of the scale increasing because those fluctuations are water fluctuations, but we're not even going to get into that in this video. Maybe I'll make a whole separate one about that. So comment below if you do want to see that video. And then the other known side effect or the other common side effect, I should say, is that if you take creatine and haven't had enough water or don't drink enough water throughout your day, it can negatively impact your GI tract and negatively impact digestion a little bit. Um, so that's just something to note. If this happens for you or if you notice this happening, increase the amount of water that you drink each day um, but also you can spread that dosage out so you don't have to take the full three to five grams of it at one time um, you can spread it out throughout your day and see if that helps any gi distress at all speaking of how much you should take and when you should take it the general recommendation is anywhere from three to five grams of creatine there has been recent research showing that 0.1 grams per kilogram of your body weight is most effective for you as an individual, but five grams as a general recommendation is good. Um, and as far as when to take it, there is no like proper time to take creatine. Like you don't have to take it pre-workout or post-workout. It could be at any time throughout the day. Um, it does not matter. And you can take it in any form. So I personally just mix mine in with like if I'm having a protein shake. Josh, my husband tends to drink it with sparkling water or a seltzer. It just mixes up really well. And if you want one that mixes in with your water and doesn't get like crunchy, make sure you get micronized creatine. And that brings me into what kind of creatine should you be purchasing or their brands that I recommend and all that so you want to look for micronized creatine monohydrate it doesn't have to be micronized um, but if you want it to blend well that's what I recommend that's what I take I use the driven nutrition brand and the reason why I use them is because it's one pure creatine monohydrate there's no like other things in there and two they come in a 100 serving size tub so when you compare the cost per serving size it's actually a little bit lower than other brands so that's what I recommend I do have a discount code for driven nutrition and full disclosure I do earn a commission percentage based on if you guys buy from them through my link. So my code is Skutnik and you can get 20% off of any supplement or anything on their website using that. But that's what I personally use and obviously I recommend using creatine if you could not get the gist of that from this video. So like I said, if you are somebody who is chasing either strength or muscle gain goals, highly recommend it. If you don't care about that, you don't need to take it. It's a super cheap supplement. It's really not expensive at all. And in my opinion, it's one of the top supplements out there that you can take. So if you have to take something, make it creatine and call it a day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any follow-up questions as far as creatine goes or anything else that you want to ask me about supplementation, you can always leave them in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram. I will put the link for Driven Nutrition in the description if you want to grab some creatine and happy lifting, happy gains. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.